India's market news headquarters. Cutting edge analysis. Influential insights. Market moving intelligence. Broadcasting live from the CNBC TV 18 Motilal Oswald Studios in Mumbai. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You're with us here on a very special edition of Bazaar Morning Call. We are now not in our studios. We are in the heart of Mumbai's financial capital, BKC, and we are celebrating 25 years of CNBC TV 18 being on air. So, be good morning. Good morning, Prashant. What a glorious morning. What a very special morning. Yep. And I can tell you that uh, the excitement is palpable, not just because we are here at this grand venue and what we're looking forward to is a gala event, but, uh, you know, you go back, there's so much of nostalgia. I'm really looking back and remembering all the times how the journey started, how my personal journey started and uh, what it has meant. I mean, for us personally, for the markets, for the economy, for the city of Mumbai, where, this, where the skyline I, has changed. I, I'm not so incl inclined to count uh, the age. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that's for later. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, this is, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you, the viewers can see this. This is 25. And just the set, the grandeur, I think, I mean, yeah. it's befitting uh, what we've done. 25 years, Surabhi is a generation, right? Yeah. And I think uh, uh, markets basically in the current form, yeah. electronic markets began in 1994. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we rolled on air for the first time in 99. Yeah. Uh, you know, I went back and looked at the data. We had about, what, 30, 40 lakh investors, registered yeah. investors. Yeah. yeah. That number uh, is not like a voter constituency. It's 10 and a half <laughs> crore investors in the market. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, it's just been amazing. No, it's phenomenal, right? Uh, from 2000 to 2025, I mean, almost in sync with our 25-year-old journey. And in uh, two and a half decades, so much has changed. Yeah. You know, when I started my journey with CNBC TV 18, and I started anchoring markets and looking at mutual funds, it was uh, the year, uh, it was 2004, 2005. Yeah. The size of the mutual fund industry back then was uh, less than one lakh crores. Yeah. Today, we're talking about retail investors taking charge of the destiny of their own finances and this market, our equity market. The size of that industry is now 67 lakh crores. So, yeah. so much has changed and most of it has actually changed for the better, Prashant, wouldn't you say? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll give you an anecdote, uh, Surabhi, right? I mean, and this is about CNBC TV 18, the brand, right? And yeah. how powerful the brand is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I came to Mumbai in 2009, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember I was, I think, in the Phoenix Mall with my family. Yeah. And uh, I, I wasn't back then with CNBC. I was yeah. another network. And, uh, you know, a couple of people were uh, sort of came in front of me. They stopped me, and they said, well, you see, you are very good on CNBC. Pe. <laughs> I mean, it, that is... Financial journalism, financial markets, financial reporting, it's always been CNBC TV 18. And we have uh, just had the honor and privilege of being associated with it, with it for so many years. And, uh, you know, today is going to be special because uh, from the morning, uh, you'll hear from some of the top ministers. Uh, by the way, Mr. Piyush Goel is going to be here. Yes. It's yes, also yes. important with Maharashtra elections. Uh, so I mean, <laughs> that's going to be the big near-term uh, thing to watch. There is the RBI governor uh, who is going to be uh, here. And what an interesting time for the governor to be here and to Absolutely. hear from him because 
you know, expectations have kind of gone down that we will see rate cuts anytime cuts. soon. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it'll be a while before we see that. And I think we'll get to hear from him about uh, what, what, but that's policy makers and yeah. regulators. Yeah. And then that's whole, corporate India. Corporate India, big a time. Absolutely. I mean, you will hear from uh, the top bosses who run companies like Mahindra and Mahindra, like Bajaj Auto. You will hear from entrepreneurs who are at the cutting edge of technology when we are talking about the startup space. And I think the swiggy guys who were ringing yeah, yeah. the They're green here. listing, We'll catch them here as well. Yeah. No, I just, I just want to once again. I mean, I can't get over, uh, you know, the, the, the set and the grandeur. And I hope all of you can see this behind us. And you know, we promise the next part. You're not going to see us here. You're going to yeah. see us inside, and we'll show you more of uh, what we've created here uh, as we celebrate 25 years of CNBC TV 18. But well, uh, you know, we have our buddy Nigel in the studios. Nigel, good morning. A special well, day. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Feeling good, and I'll catch up with you all later. But what a set that is indeed. You know, give you all a couple of uh, points yeah. with regard mm -hmm. to my career. 95% of my working career has been with CNBC TV 18. I've been here for more than 60% of those 25 uh, years, and more than 40% of uh, my life actually has been with CNBC TV 18. So. Thrilled to be part of it. I thank the network. And in fact, later on in the day, I as well will go and join uh, Prashant Surbhi and the entire team at uh, the Global Summit. Well, let's run you through market action, though, and tell you how trade is set up. We have down close to around 10% from the recent peak. We have seen this, you know, in the last couple of years twice. September 2022, we almost saw that correction out there. And March 2023, both times we did bounce back. The problem is the manner in which we have fallen that's a bit of a worry. But I'll tell you what, there are various stocks that have come to those levels, desirable levels, where you want to deploy some capital. That's the pain point, though. 106.6 on the dollar index at a multi-year high. That's been the pain pocket. So, you know, the technical bounce is very much due. The problem is momentum has got broken with this sort of a correction. Last few sessions have been extremely painful for the headline index as well as the broader markets as well. So 11% down in 45 trading sessions. I think the Nifty as well as the Nifty Bank, they are around that 200 DMA. Well, it's natural that you see some kind of fight that's coming in there. So, uh, you know, hopefully we see a bit of a bounce at least today or in the next two or three trading sessions because the bounce is very much due. The FIs, they added 26,000 short uh, contracts in yesterday's trade. It takes, it takes a total short contract a position to more than two lakh contracts, which is at a multi-month uh, high, in fact. And the long short ratio now is 22% on the long side. You have 78% on the short side. You're a little bit worried, right? Because the FIs have been selling. But I'll tell you what, you know, from the peaks that we have seen, the FI holding in the Indian stock market has come down to 18.5%. That's at the lowest we've seen in the last decade or so. And, you know, how much more can they sell? That's, uh, you know, a big open question out there. But in all probability, you know, at around this 18, 18.5%, we should see some kind of stability in terms of outflows because they have been very, very excessive. The mutual fund industry, though, they are sitting on ample liquidity. Uh, the last count as per a dam capital report is around 1.7 lakh uh, crore. So that's ready to be deployed as and when the need arises. Levels that we're looking at, support levels. You know, the NIF team at around this 23,000, 23,500 odd mark. You want to see some support going by the options data, going by the 200 DME as well. And the NIFTY bank, 49,500 odd. A uh, bounce is very much due, but when does it come about? It could be today or in the next couple of trading sessions as well. The manner, though, that we have fallen is a little bit worrying. But guys, how are you all trading trade setup? Well, uh, Nigel, we're going to talk more markets as we go along. <laughs> and you were talking about bounces. I can tell you that we're all going to be bouncing here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the market. But let's welcome in uh, someone who's been with CNBC TV 18 from uh, the beginning, our, somebody who's... Our internal chief guest. Yeah. And let, let, me, let me say, someone who... I wish, I wish that was true. Someone, someone who the never... Furniture, I the saw, furniture, the furniture. Someone who... Uh, I saw that one line, Shireen. Someone who never sleeps. It's... And it's I think it's... Up, up, right? 12, 12 in the morning or night or whatever, or 6 in the morning. I mean, you're always so there. I, I can tell you, I can assure you, I haven't slept for a minute uh, last night. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that this goes by as smoothly as we hope that it this will. This must be an emotional uh, day as well, right? You 25 know, years is a... Yeah, yeah, I think 25 and 24 for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it is it is emotional and I've just been sort of playing back yeah. the yeah. journey yeah. and yeah. what a journey it's been and I think we've, you know, we've really seen India yeah. change, we've yeah. seen yeah. the markets change, we've seen customer behaviour evolve yeah. and I think we've changed with the times. Yeah. I think 
uh, what we've been most paranoid about is being relevant and staying relevant to our yeah. consumers. And I hope and I pray that we've done that. And I think that continues to drive us even in the newsroom today. You haven't changed me. I mean, I, I, mean, I, wish, you, that you look, <laughs> I wish that was true. But, uh, but it's stellar, Shuri. 25 years of leadership as you look back and more importantly as you look forward. Uh, so what drives you now and what do you think is, is the agenda for a network as big as ours? You know, uh, and I, I say this in the newsroom all the time, and I think what we're very, very clear about is that, look, what remains absolutely non-negotiable is our purpose, and that is to provide verifiable, actionable information. But what has changed is our aspiration, and I keep saying this, that we want to be uh, the port of call for people who want to make a smart choice in every aspect of your life, not just the stock markets or yes. mutual funds or commodities and currencies. We want to be a part of every transaction that you make, and we want to provide you that that actionable information and insight and more importantly you know we've transitioned and I don't think enough people appreciate it we've transitioned from being a TV brand to now being an omni-channel brand I mean we're online we're uh, uh, you know on social we're on YouTube we've got three million subscribers on YouTube the largest Indian business news brand uh, we've got seven million subscribers on WhatsApp again the largest business news brand on WhatsApp so the aspiration now is that we will chase the consumer where the consumer is yeah. so we have the humility to believe that look we are we of course continue to be on TV but we are much more than a TV brand and I think that's the aspiration that will drive us and in of the course, I mean, investing is one thing uh, Shireen but I think uh, you personally have been a big part of the startup sort of uh, yes. sort of ecosystem which is developed in the country right yeah, I mean you know, with young Turks and it's just years ago when we yeah. started young Turks we didn't think that this was going to become a show that would become one of the world's longest running yeah. shows on startups and entrepreneurship and what a great story it is today that yeah. we're seeing I mean you know Swiggy listing yesterday uh, one of our uh, young Turks uh, I think what has also changed is that exit have become real yeah. and wealth creation has become real as well of course there have been mistakes and yeah. there will continue to be mistakes but I think that story is one. now being recognized. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. absolutely. Uh, we'll leave you to it, Shreen. I think <laughs> you've you got a very long day. We all have uh, a very long day ahead, but uh, you know, it, what's been the fun part of it is, is uh, doing this every day with all of yeah. you. So again, uh, big, big thank you and a big shout out to the entire CNBC TV 18 team and to our viewers for tuning in to us every day. We couldn't have made this journey without you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. All right. See you, see you. soon. See you, see you, see you inside, Shireen. So, there you have it. We're getting started. We're getting warmed up. You're seeing the crowds behind us. And once we take you inside, you will get the full import of what we have created here and what's uh, lined up ahead through the course of the day. But for the here and now, because this is a trading market, it is a trading day, just very quickly uh, talking about the cues and the setup. Because I, I in think the here uh, and now, it's, it, is, it is Trump. I mean, Trump is <laughs> the Trump trade, right? 